Well, I think I have all the information I need. Thank you for coming in, Mr. Larkin. My pleasure. So, looks like Operation Nasty is a full-on success, huh? You mean Operation Nasty's sex slut. As it was by now, it's... Didn't you see him flirting with me? No, I most definitely did not. And you're a blind man and a prude to boot. Did you see his tie? A single Windsor. The easiest knot to undo. Pfft, why bother wearing any clothes at all? I think you badly misread that interaction. Please. He did everything but lick his lips and purr. Sorry, my partner doesn't believe in therapy. Oh, that's fine. It's hard for some people. That title, your sex tape. Are you normally so cavalier around murder investigations? I love guns. I'm gonna make such a good dad. Not even gonna touch that. The Amy Santiago story. Sexy train is leaving the station. Check out this caboose. Later, sluts. Now, the first step in learning how to cook is learning how to taste. So close your eyes and open your mouth. This isn't Burning Man, Boyle. If you like pina coladas. Dead guy, Charles. Sorry. You are glowing. Brother to sister, you've never looked sexier. Come on, man. What's up, little man? What's up? You feeling sexy, huh? Yeah, I feel sexy. Yeah, you look sexy. You man. know I do. Watch out for that door. I don't know, Jake. I'm afraid I'm gonna think about it every time I look at your crotch. Then stop looking at my crotch. You wanna see me, Sarge? Yeah, come on in, boy. Sorry to hear about your hand. Thanks. Makes it really hard to manipulate my egg sack. <sighs> Sir? Jake really pissed me off, and I want to help you take him down. Well, that's an intriguing proposition. You certainly could be useful. Thank you. To Jake! I gotcha, Peralta! You're not fooling anyone! Why does everyone think that's where a camera would be? Because the cleavage cloaks the camera with its curves. That'll be all, spy. Sorry, I said cleavage. Mm. We'll call ourselves the night, boys. Kind of sounds like a male escort service. The Midnight Men. Even worse. The Dark Stallions. Looks like we're going with the Night Boys. Woo! <laughs> I told you, Jake, I'll do anything to perk up my little man. OK, it's time to celebrate. You know what that means. This B needs a C in her A. Oh, my god. This babe needs a coconut in her arms. Oh, I thought you were saying this needs a her Oh, my god. Yeah, that was my reaction. All right, I'll go get us a couple of coconuts. For you, and you, and you. What are these? These, madam, are STDs. What are you talking about, buddy? STDs. Save the dates for Vivian and my wedding. Ah, yes. Hey, just out of curiosity, how many people have you given STDs to? Lots. Like a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? I don't have feelings for Amy anymore, so time for me to get out there and spread my wings. Get out there and spread my legs? Well, I either way. No, not either way. Only wings. Tell them where we're at. Brooklyn. You know, you guys take off, all right? I got this. Right. Hey, you, come here. You want to tell me what you saw? Tell you what I'd like to see. You're big. Stop. I'm the one describing the plan. Well, so it's not going to be any sex at all? No. The point is with. Gina and I are casual lovers. Ugh. Yeah. Ew. How long has this been going on? We hooked up once last summer, and then the nightmare started again about a month ago. Ever since then, it's been orgasm city. Ugh. Yeah. Ew. Ugh, gross, right, guys? Nobody sucks up like a boil. Of course, you knew that already because you're so smart. I just did it to you. Ugh. Fine, little man. Bring it. OK. Looks like you and I are in a good old-fashioned suck-off. Don't call it a suck off. Why not? Why shouldn't? Oh, yeah, 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 totally, yep. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you, Boyle. You're right. No matter what happens, we'll feel better knowing we didn't resort to blackmail. I agree. From now on, the only blackmail I want anything to do with is you. That was incredibly inappropriate. I know, but I had thought of it, and I was so proud, I just had to say it out loud. Let's just go. Great. Gina! It's our first annual Boil and Eddie Christmas. Are you excited about going to town on Daddy's Nog? Christmas is canceled. Charles ruined it. I did something really stupid. I need your help. You know, I'm kind of a sexy bad boy who rides motorcycles into work and is always breaking the rules in the name of justice. I don't like where this is going. Well, I also maybe sometimes bring home case files to work on them after hours, and I might not be that great about returning them. Oh, God. Are you aroused because of what a bad boy I am? No! No. Are you ready to go streaking? What? That's what my dad and I called getting blonde streaks in your hair. We used to do it to our ponytails on road trips. You just take a little lemon up top and let the sun do the rest. We called it giving each other road head. You just said you called it going streaking. It had a couple names. Ah, good morning, Captain Holt. 
You're looking refreshed. Interesting. I didn't sleep a wink. Let's just say Kevin no longer has me in the guest room. Nice. My two dads straight smashing it. <laughs> Sorry, that came out weird. Title of your sex tape. But more importantly, how did it go with Commissioner Kelly? Gotta have something weird and tragic going on. Nope. Not unless you call hooking up with a girl at a funeral weird and tragic. Home run. Her name is Lieutenant Singh. She's super hot. We were seated next to each other two funerals ago, and there was hard eye contact all through Danny Boy. Last funeral, we made out in a parking lot. This time, something naughty this way comes. No. <laughs> what do you even know about this person? Oh, we don't know anything about each other. She says she likes that about us. It's just pure animal attraction. This is creepy. And unlike you, you even know her first name? Oh, um, do animals in the wild know each other's names? <laughs> Look, all I know is Charles Boyle is going to that funeral and he's going to put the bone back in Boneyard. <laughs> toys for boys. I don't know if I like that. Adult toys. Still sounds wrong. Male toys? You know what, let's just not call them toys. That's my fault, I started it. You got it, we'll just call them playthings. We will not, let's do this. Doors are locked. That's too bad. I love watching you pound one out. Charles. What? That was sexual? Which part? All of the parts. All right. Let's go free an innocent woman. Nice. My dreams are coming true. You and me get my lady off together. Yeek. Blast of cold air coming out of that box. Name of Amy's sex tape. Hey, man, come on, not cool. The only thing you won last heist was a lifetime of mediocre heterosexual intercourse with Jake. <gasps> how dare you? No one thinks you won last year. Wow, really thought the how dare you was going to be linked to his mean sex comment, but OK. Right, sorry. I'll have you know Jake and I wear each other out every single night. Good lord, overcompensating. <laughs> Jake! Grab the top one and yank the bottom one. Oh, thank God that's what you meant. Although I'm open to whatever you want to try. Here we go. Oh, oh, Amy, it worked. The pegging worked. What? No. Um, what the? Is something wrong? Are the CompStat numbers bad? The numbers are fine, and I have to go. Oh, OK. Then why'd you ask for this meeting? Don't follow me, Terry. What? I wasn't going to. This was a very confusing interaction. Hmm. Hello? Sergeant Santiago, I've taken your husband hostage. If you ever want to make a baby with him, you'll do exactly as I say. Jake, where are you? Oh, this isn't Jake. This is the syndicate. And you will never see us because we are everywhere. And we You're by the elevators. Damn it. Look away. Look away. OK. Yes, that's better. On top of the copier, there's a headset. Put it on and get in the limo that's waiting out front. Mm, OK. I love you. I love you, too. Now go. Are you Amy? Tell him yes. Yes. How does it feel to be played like a puppet? OK, I'm walking into the apartment. Why did you have me get $400 out of the ATM? Good question. It's to pay for the Airbnb. You're giving them $400 in cash? I broke several lamps while trying to hide in the dark. Now turn on the lights. OK. Hello. It's me. Put down the drinks. Why, are you upset? Yeah, and now I have to take the syndicate down. Oh my goodness. To be clear, by take down the syndicate, you mean we're gonna We're have... gonna have sex, yeah, yes, okay, absolutely. Yeah. Take your clothes off. Hello, detective. Hello, lieutenant. Real tragic about the captain. Yes, real tragic. I like the way your butt looks today. I've been doing lunges in the shower. Well, this got upsetting real quick. I want to live in this moment forever. I got us a motel room across the street. Meet me there in 15 minutes. I'll meet you, all right. M-E-A-T. Still think it's creepy? Yes. Tough march for you there, bud? Yeah, just a heads up. I sold my pants with the pockets, so I'll be putting the gems in my undies this time. No! I'll give him a fanny pack. Can I keep it? This could be just what I need to turn my life around. Yeah, Belt, you can keep the fanny pack. I don't have to do anything for it, do I? Because I will, if you ask. I'll do anything, even... What's that supposed to represent? No one answer that. Rosa? Charles? You're completely naked. You have the right to remain silent. You have the right to an attorney. Oh, what do we have here? A 34-year-old Caucasian male who is dead. Very dead. Mm. Cause of death? Initial assessment. Blunt force trauma. But what do I find when I probe a little farther? Bruising around the neck and 
Ocean water in the lungs. Ooh, how long have you been dead, body? Four days. Gross, bloating, odors. Oh, uh, 24 hours. Perfect. Here we go. 